Speaker has been elected to yet another term, number four, for Ms. Pelosi from San Francisco. She has clinched the number of votes that she needs in her caucus to be elected the House Speaker once again. Ms. Pelosi needed 214 votes, and she has now uh, gotten over that, uh, we are told. Uh, two Democrats, at least so far, according to our, our accounting, voted for two other Democrats and not for her. One of those was Connor Lamb, that uh, young uh, congressman from western Pennsylvania right outside of uh, Pittsburgh. He did not vote for Ms. Pelosi the last time. So she has a, a very few handful numbers of uh, Democratic opponents in her caucus. There are some wondering now with uh, her uh, election, as well as with uh, Vice President Joe Biden uh, becoming the president-elect and uh, set to assume the Oval Office uh, on January 20th, whether or not the Democratic caucus will be moved much more to the left in a progressive area in terms of the pressures that Ms. Pelosi and the rest of her party uh, will feel. That is yet to be seen and yet to come. Nancy Pelosi, quite an American story. She uh, grew up in Baltimore. Her father was a Maryland congressman who went on to become mayor of Baltimore. So uh, some have seen her, uh, her ability to bring a bare-knuckled uh, political strategy and stances and politics that she'd learned at her father's knee uh, in the uh, city hall of Baltimore to the way she had runs the speakership uh, with a uh, tight fist and a uh, sharp whip as she uh, has uh, wielded power, unlike uh, perhaps uh, a few other uh, speakers in recent memory, except for Sam Rayburn, who, of course, is legendary in being a House Speaker. Again, the Democrats have re-elected Nancy Pelosi as House Speaker. Uh, uh, Chad Pergram is uh, standing by in the Capitol to uh, give us the very latest on this uh, re-election. Chad, uh, how did it go? Are you there? I'm there. Well, the uh, vote by uh, the House uh, of Representatives, uh, you know, favored Nancy Pelosi. We knew it was going to be a narrow majority for her. And this is going to be the story of the 117th Congress, as Nancy Pelosi, on vote after vote after vote, is really going to have to thread the needle in order to get the votes to move things across the finish line. The unofficial total that we have here is 216 votes total for Nancy Pelosi, 208 for Kevin McCarthy, the House Minority Leader. And as you say, there were five defections. At the end of the day, there were 429 members who cast ballots. When they took that initial taking attendance vote here, they were at 427. Uh, Mark DeSaunier, a Democratic congressman from California, was not part of that. He's had some health issues. He did show up and did vote for Nancy Pelosi. Uh, here are the defections. There were three members who voted present, all moderate, starting their second term. Mikey Sherrill from New Jersey, Abigail Spanberger from Southern Virginia, uh, and also Alyssa Slotkin, who voted present uh, two years ago. She voted present today. They all three voted present today. The two defections, as you say, who voted for somebody else by name, Jared Golden, a moderate Democrat from uh, Maine, uh, he voted uh, you know, against Nancy Pelosi two years ago. He voted today for Tammy Duckworth, the Democratic senator from Illinois. And you also had Connor Lamb, who voted for Hakeem Jeffries, the chair of the Democratic caucus. You, you know, Nancy Pelosi going into this vote, when we saw that 427 figure, we calculated that she could only lose about six votes. Now, that number went up a little bit because of, of of what happened here, but she threaded the needle today. She always seems to know exactly where the votes were, and that's why she's returning to the speaker suite 